Hello everyone, it's Jude here. You're welcome to Smartwatch Trace. Inbuilt GPS is one of the main features, one of the most expected features we wanted to see in the next Versa after the Versa 2. Well, Fitbit didn't disappoint. There is Inbuilt GPS in the Versa 3. Now, I know most of you will probably be asking this question the built in GPS in the Versa 3. How good is it as far as tracking your outdoor activities is concerned? Well, I have done a series of tests. I've compared it um, to the Galaxy Watch 3 and the Band 4 Pro. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how good the, the uh, built-in GPS in the Versa 3 is. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at the built-in GPS of the Versa 3. How good is it as far as tracking outdoor activities is concerned? Well, from my comparisons with the Band 4 Pro and the Galaxy Watch 3, the Versa 3 is um, a consistent device as far as outdoor activity tracking is concerned. First of all, let's go to the Versa 3 itself and let's look at tracking your outdoor activities from the Versa 3. Now you just need to swipe through and you go to exercise and you tap on exercise here. There are a total of 20 exercises on the Versa 3. Now built in GPS is for outdoor activities like run, work, um, biking and um, and hike. Okay, so these are the four uh, exercises that require built-in GPS. So, for instance, looking at um, the run activity here, when you tap on it, you need you can actually set up a goal from here when you tap on um, set up a goal here. You can actually set up your um, active zone minutes. Okay, your goal. You can actually set the distance you want to achieve. Um, the time, the calories that you want to burn. And when you reach your goal, you will get a boss. Okay. Sorry. So going further down, you can see the heart zone notification. I have turned mine on. And you can see the laps. Okay. Um, I've turned mine to every one kilometer. And when it comes to showing your stars, you can actually configure this. What should be shown at the top? At the middle and at the bottom of um, on, on of the screen when you are working out with this um, smartwatch, and one important thing here is that you have to turn on GPS by default. It's already turned on by default, but just to be sure, you need to always make sure that this is turned on so that you can be able to track your outdoor activities. I also have auto pause on, so if the smartwatch does not detect the movement, it's going to pause my activity. And um, the Versa 3 here uh, is also able to auto detect when I start running. And um, you can also turn on um, always on display, but this is going to impact on the battery life. So that is as far as starting your activity here uh, is concerned from the Versa 3. Okay. So, so when you start up an activity, it's going to actually set up the goals and all that. So let's look at the tracking accuracy of the Versa 3. Now I have done um, a series of tests. For instance, um, this most recent test I did against the Band 4 Pro, the Galaxy Watch 3, and the Versa 3. Um, as you can see, the Band 4 Pro here set around for 5.23 kilometers, while the Galaxy Watch 3 said I ran for 5.14 kilometers. And with the Versa 3, it is 5.2 kilometers. Now, if you look at the when you look at the average pace, the Band 4 Pro here is at, um around 6 minutes 30 seconds for every kilometers. And with the Galaxy Watch 3, the average pace is um, 6 minutes 35 um, seconds. And with the Versa 3, it is 6 minutes 32 seconds for every kilometers. So when you also look at the heart rate figures, um, the average heart rate with the Versa 3 uh, was 157 and the maximum heart rate was 182. With the Band 4 Pro, the average heart rate was 160 beat per minute and, with, um, and the maximum was 184 beat per minute. 
With the Galaxy Watch 3, the average heart rate was 160 beat per minute and the maximum was 185 beat per minute. And also, when you look at the, the roots, as you can see that the roots tracked look just about the same. So this Versa 3 year was consistent as far as outdoor activity tracking is concerned. Now let's take a look at another um, comparison I did with the Band 4 Pro and the Galaxy Watch 3. As you can see again, the Band 4 Pro year said I ran for 7.1 kilometers. Um, the Galaxy Watch 3 said 6.98 kilometers. And with the Versa 3, it is um, 7.02 kilometers. The average pace with the Band 4 Pro is 7 minutes 13 seconds. Um, with the Galaxy Watch 3, it is um, 7 minutes 13 seconds. And with the Versa 3, it is um, 7 minutes um, 17 seconds. So when you also look at the root tract, look tract, um, look just about the same. So this is just to show you that the Versa 3 is consistent. It's actually consistent in tracking outdoor um, activities like your roots, your pace. Um, your locations and all that. Finally, looking at another test that I did again with the Galaxy Watch 3 and Band 4 Pro. Again, the Band 4 Pro said I ran for 5.41 kilometers. It is 5.36 kilometers with the Galaxy Watch 3 and it is 5.4 kilometers with the Versa 3. If you look at the average pace, the average pace with the Band 4 Pro is 7 minutes 49 seconds. With the Galaxy Watch 3, it is 7 minutes 53 um, seconds. And with the Versa 3, it is 7 minutes 48 seconds. Looking at the root track, you can also see again that this look about the same. Looking at the next, um, the next image, as you can see, I just had to do a small round, um, round a small circle. I wanted to see um, how good the Versa 3 is, as far as tracking, a very small circle is concerned. And if you look clear closely, you can see the Band 4 Pro, you can see the Galaxy Watch 3, you can see the Versa 3. So the rules for that particular um, um, runabout is just about the same as you can see here. This is just how the, the Versa 3 fared with the Galaxy Watch 3 and Band 4 Pro. So guys, as far as tracking your outdoor activities, like your routes, your pace, your location, and other related metrics is concerned, the Fitbit Versa 3 year is consistent. So I would say kudos to Fitbit. I mean, the inbuilt GPS in the Versa 3 is not a disappointment though. I mean, um, I have had a lot of um, experience with it and I'm, I can actually say that the Versa 3 year is consistent in tracking outdoor activities. So guys, this is where I draw the curtain for this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, click on that subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.